could you explain maybe the advantages but also disadvantages and maybe limitations of SPH per se? What would you say? Whoever wants to add his two cents now. Maybe Jens if you want to start or Marcus. Yeah, maybe I, I continue here. So um, a fundamental disadvantage, I think, or, or challenge in contrast to crit-based method is um, the numerical robustness when it comes to computing um, the spatial derivatives. And, and there, like the, the, the different branches of SPH and other particle methods vary a lot. Um, so I, I would call it not disadvantage, I would call it challenge. Mm -hmm. As similar to when you say what what is the advantage of particle ba based methods, everyone would say uh, I don't need a mesh, so I, I can just take my CAD model and compute them directly on the on, on the CAD model and do not need to transform this model into a computational mesh. Yeah, but of course this is also can be seen as a challenge there, and there are very sophisticated algorithms out there which allow you automatic remeshing and everything. Um, but of course this all comes at a cost. So if you want want to say what are the fundamental differences, is the one is uh, discretizing the, the the volume that that needs to be computed in the particle based approach. These are so we we discretize the volume. Um, we only compute where the volume is. We don't need to compute the whole simulation domain where the material is flowing through. This is an advantage. Um, but of course, um, the, the, the numerics behind um, have been much longer um, tested and, and applied uh, for grid-based, different grid-based methods, be it finite volume, finite element method, whatever. Um, so there are the differences, but at the end, we compare Eulerian approach versus Lagrangian approach, and there are, for either of these approaches, nice solutions. Yeah, but uh, typically, when it comes to compute free surface flows, I would say the particle-based approach are more natural and have have an advantage there. Mm -hmm. Jens, do you want to add anything here, or do you want to directly talk about the parallelization aspect? What I want to emphasize here is, and um, this is also part of the history actually of, of 52, is that um, the the Eulerian methods in comparison to Lagrangian methods, just as Marcus mentioned, they they had a head start in, in the research. So while um, SPH and other particle-based methods um, were um, kind of a, a niche method, um, whereas um, the Eulerian grid-based approaches were in the focus of the research. Um, the, when we started our research at the university, so somewhere 2007, and for, for me, somewhere in 2012, um, we, we saw that um, those methods, so particle-based methods, they have some in, inherent um, properties which have a very high, um, high value for, um, for users of this method, such as um, the um, that they do not rely on a on a grid, so you do have a very minimal post processing. But there are also um, major workload workloads and challenges to solve. And this is why we focused on on those. And um, nowadays with Pure Lab, we, we do have a solution which is uh, which overcomes those formal limitations and uh, now uh, brings. Um, particle-based method to to a level where it actually really can be used as a um, as a crucial and um, as a reliable part of numerical physical simulation. Mm 